So we are in um, Amiendio in Greece um, with Popolka Kokinelli. Um, and the Greeks are really messing with me this summer uh, with what is red and what is rosé because the color on this, I mean, they call it red, but they say it's super lightly extracted. I'm still going to put it in the red category as well because I do agree from trying it that it's more on the rosé, chillable red side than fully rosé. But I mean, like, come on, <laughs> it's basically rosé. Um, so it's pretty funny too because I think the Greeks were if not the first, like the second to actually do rosé wines and their rosés when you think of them are typically heftier. So I, I'm honestly surprised they're calling this red and not rosé because they love a, hef, a hefty red rosé. Anyways, it's from Xenomavro, which is one of the most common red grapes to find in Greece um, and one that we really like, but I don't normally see in this style. So I'm really excited to try it. I haven't had anything from um, this producer before and they've been coming up with some really cool stuff. There's like a fun none we're looking one that we'd like to get at some point as well anyways on the nose it smells very fresh like light fruits like strawberries watermelon <laughs> everything i'm saying makes me think it's a rosé um cranberries more so than dark cherries or plums or anything no berries oh, maybe berries let me see not really. It's a little bit green, um, like, like a bell pepper. Um, a little bit herbaceous. Honestly, it might be slightly too cold for me to know for sure on that. And that also might be affecting my opinion about the red versus rosé thing. It's not that cold, but it's, it's been in the fridge. Um, let's try it. Dang. That is tasty. So it is, it is deeper on the palate. It is closer to, it smells more rosé and the palate is more light red. Um, but so crushable. Holy crap. This is like definition of like glue, glue, red wine. Yum. I just want to like <laughs> just sip it with nothing. Um, so it's deeper. It's like, I'd say the, it's, you can still get the strawberries and stuff there, but honestly, I'm getting more like muddled cherries almost like, yeah, like, or like even muddled strawberries, like cocktail version, like something you're about to muddle and put in there. It's very specific, but that's the first thing I thought of when I was drinking it. Um, and then the finish is decently long for the way that it's been made. Um, and yeah, it's just like tasty and acidic and bright and doesn't have too much tannin at all, barely any tannin. Um, but it's, it's got some weight to it. So with that in mind, uh, definitely a red that you can put with fish. <laughs> no question. I would say go Greek with this. Like, I love the idea of this with falafel. I love the idea of this with like a gyro. Um, I just love the idea of this with Greek food. Obviously you can put it with other stuff with like barbecue food, picnic food. Um, but I just want to have like a gyro with falafel and, or even maybe like a chick. It doesn't matter. Any of it, any of that's good. You can't go wrong. So enjoy. It tastes like summer. <laughs>